Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Pendulumic Tac T1s. Now these are wireless, high fidelity, portable on-ear headphones. Now if everything works out, these are gonna be my new Netflix and chill headphones. And I'll tell you why in a minute. First up, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get them from. Go to Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. All right, so we got the Pendulumic Tac T1 wireless headphones. Now the price on these, 250 bucks. All right, now let's check out the specs real quick. They right on the box. Nice looking presentation. Y'all know I like a nice box. Wireless freedom never sounded so good. The Pendulumic Tac T1 wireless high fidelity portable on-air headphones. Now you can use these wireless, that means Bluetooth. You can use them amplified. You can use them wired. And now you can also use these for sharing. That's why I say these might be the new Netflix headphones. You can use these for sharing, and we'll talk about that in a minute. You can also use these for phone calls. You got signature wireless sound stage. Now you get up to 25 hours of battery time. You got dual sharing. Now these are low latency wireless. Now what that means is, if you're using these connected to a tablet and you're watching a movie, you should get minimum lag. You got Bluetooth and you got APTX. Now this is Bluetooth 4.1. Let's see, did we miss anything? Now these are your traveling music companion, all right? High comfort headband with passive noise reduction, optimizes traveling music and audio experiences. Now you got your naturally smooth controls. You got a little knob. Now that's a nice little feature, no buttons to be fumbling around with. You got a knob. The iconic pendulumic dial for playback, volume and call controls. Now you got smart wireless and wired mode operation, and we'll talk about that. Now the T1 detects and switches automatically between wireless, amplified, and passive wired modes. So what does that mean? That means if you're using these wireless, which is Bluetooth, that's fine. Now if you wanna use them with no battery, that's passive, you can just plug them in and use them. You can also use these amplified. So that means you're gonna plug them in and turn the headphones on, and it's automatically gonna switch between the modes. That's a nice little feature. Never stop playing. 25 hours of wireless playback with a AAA battery backup and a wired mode batteryless operation. So again, another nice feature. So if your battery dies, you could drop a AAA battery in here and keep rocking out. Now here's my Netflix and chill feature, dual sharing. Share and enjoy music, audio together with a friend on another T1. So if you got another set, which we happen to have on deck, we'll test them out together to share your music. Low latency wireless, enjoy music, movies, and games wirelessly with no noticeable lag. And like I said, Bluetooth 4.1. All right, so let me grab a little unboxed knife. Let's pop these open. Shout out to the little unboxed knife. Rah, back on deck. Okay, here we go. Headphone week continues, y'all. Okay, you got another seal right here. I'm gonna need the smaller version for this one. Need the big unboxing knife. Rah. Okay, <laughs> they trolled me. The seal wasn't even rah. wasn't even locked. Okay, here we go. Okay, so inside, here's your headphones. Nice hard shell case. Here's your airplane adapter. This is going to be your micro USB charging cable. USB to micro USB. And here's your wired connection. Now this is 3.5. You got your gold tips, one straight, one L shape. Now this is a braided cable. I like that, so it's gonna be kind of tangle free. And you do get touch controls. So there's a little mic for phone calls and a little button. And of course, your usual books and shit follows to the side. Now for the headphones. Okay, here we go. Nice little carrying case. Zip up pocket with some mesh. Oh, this detaches too, that's nice. Okay, and here's your headphones. Now, if you look at the case, you do got these cutouts right here. So when you put your headphones back in, slap them right in the cutouts. They'll lock right into place. All right, so this is a nice little carrying case. Now the headphones, Pretty small, I thought it was gonna be bigger, but pretty small, you gotta keep in mind, these are on ear, not over the ear. 
So these are gonna rest right on your ears. Got a nice leatherish material to these. I'm definitely feeling this brownish color. These do swivel. Swivel and fold. So you don't have to use this case. If you got a nice fold case, you use that too. Now, here's your pendulumic dial. This is kind of hot. Oh, little clicks on these. Each time you turn it, has a little click. So this is how you're gonna raise or lower the volume. Now, if you wanna answer or end a phone call, just press it. If you wanna play and pause, press it again. If you wanna skip tracks, press it twice. And if you wanna reverse your track, three clicks. So no buttons to be fumbling around with. Once you get the hang of this knob, you're good money. Now, here's your sharing button. You see you got the two headphones. If you got two sets of headphones and you wanna share your music together, just press the button, pair them up together, and you can play your music. That's why I say, if these sound good, these are gonna be the Netflix and chill headphones. I'm gonna drop these right in the man cave or drop them in the living room. This way, when you have your nighttime activities taking place, maybe three o'clock in the morning, y'all wanna play some music extra loud and y'all wanna party and go crazy, maybe there's other people in your house, the kids or whatever, and you don't wanna wake everybody up. Pair these together and y'all can rock out and be in your own little mood. And again, when you're going traveling, all right, when you're on the airplane, if you got one iPad Pro and you don't want to watch those Adam Sandler movies on the flight, pair these up together and y'all can share the music or share the audio from that same video that you're watching. That's a nice little touch. Let's see the other buttons right here. Here's your on and off. Okay, you got a little LED light. Okay, I didn't hear any voice prompts or no voice prompts. Here's your 3.5 input. This is how you're going to use them wired. Here's your micro USB charging slot on deck. Now, on the other side, here's where you're gonna drop your AAA battery in. This is for backup battery. Now, you don't need that. You could just you know charge these up. You got 25 hours, but I'm gonna drop a AAA in there anyway just to have some extra battery on deck. Let's see, how do we get this back in here now? Okay, this is one of those just twist into place if you can find the grooves. <laughs> oh. Okay, hold on a second. <coughs> I'm getting trolled live on camera, I'm getting trolled. All right, I almost took an L with these. <laughs> All right, so these lock back into place. Nice lightweight build on these. Nice amount of flexion to these. But most importantly, how do they sound? So let's turn them on, we'll pair them up and we'll do a little sound test. Okay, LED is flashing. Let's take it to the phone. We'll scan for devices. Okay, there goes the Pendulumic T1s. Connecting, connected, just like that. All right, so less than 15 seconds to connect. Let's get some music and we'll do a little sound test. What we got on deck today? Let's keep it smooth. All right, so we got some Rihanna. You needed me. Let me find a little knob on these. All right, let's make sure. Okay, one more thing. You got right and left. All right, so your volume controls is going to be on the right side. Let's drop these on. Initial impressions. Okay, they're nice and lightweight. They feel comfortable. These are on air, so they're sitting right on my ears. Easy access to the knob. Here we go. Let's take it to the music. and Let me get max volume with the knob. Let's see. Okay, you get a little beat when you get max volume. Here we go. Here we go, ladies. Here we go. I was good on my own. That's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the low for a faded fuck. On some faded love. Shit, what the fuck you complaining for? Feeling jaded, huh? Tip of the shit I was kicking to you. Had some fun on the run, thought I'd give it to you. But baby, don't get it twisted. You was just another nigga on the hit list Trying to fix your in the issues with a bad bitch Didn't they tell you that I was a savage Fucking with horse in the carriage Bet you never could imagine Never told you you could have it You needed me Woo! Alright Okay Hold up, let me pause this Let me pause this <laughs> Let me pause this Alright, now these, these actually sound pretty good Pretty good Pretty good now, not the loudest headphones in the world, but it has a nice balanced sound to these. All right, they don't sound cheap. 
ha definitely has a nice balance sound. I got to listen to some other music too. I'll try some hardcore hip hop, but these sound pretty good. I want to I want to hear how they sound wired and amplified. Now, on a side note, a lot of people have been asking me how come every time I hear headphones, I always say they sound good. Well, you got to remember this is 2016. All right, this, the chances of you buying some headphones for 250 bucks and they sound like trash is going to be slim. So mostly any headphones that you buy nowadays that's over 200 bucks, they're going to sound good. It's just different levels of goodness. All right, now, these definitely ain't the Monster 24Ks. No, they're not those. Definitely not. These are not the Monster Elements. Definitely not on that level. But these sound good, though. They sound good, nice and clear. Let me do some more testing and we'll see. All right, so talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to plug these in. I'll play some hip-hop music, some reggae music, a little bit of old school, a little bit of classic, and we'll see how they sound. And I'll also pair two of them up together, and we'll see if there's any noticeable lag. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just tested these for the last hour. I played a whole bunch of different music. I tried these wireless, wired, and amplified, and I got to tell y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am definitely feeling these. All right, these are going to be my new Netflix and chill headphones for sure. Now, let's talk about the sound. These headphones get nice and loud. You got the highs and the mids. The vocals sound crystal clear. And you get some bass. Now, it's not that head-pounding, earth-shaking kind of bass like you get on some bass-boosted headphones. No. You get some nice, balanced bass, and they sound good. Not overpowering, no, but it's nice and balanced. Nothing to complain about when it comes to the sound. But there's some pros and cons. Let's talk about those real quick. Let's start with the cons. Now, when I was doing my testing, one of the things that I wanted to do was try out the music sharing. So I tried to figure it out on my own, like a G, and I couldn't do it. So I had to take it to the book like a sucker. Now here's my first con. When you do take it to the book, no English instructions. All right, so that's a con for me now. If you speak some other languages, you're going to be fine. But no English instructions on both sides. Nothing. Now, I could have easily took it to Google Translate and copied and paste. But luckily for me, one of my best friends happens to speak Spanish. So I just called her up and I read it to her and she translated it for me so I could show you how to do it. All right, because if you get this and try to figure it out, it might take you a few minutes. You might be able to do it on your own or you might not. But here's how you do it. Now, these headphones are already on. I got some music playing. Y'all can hear I got that Kanye West Famous on deck. All right, so turn on your first set of headphones. Your music is on, you good. Now, you're gonna press, you see this music sharing button? You're gonna press this twice. That light's gonna start flashing. Now, you take the second set of headphones, you turn them on, and you press the button once. Now you can see both LEDs are flashing and now they're steady. So they should be paired up together. Let's take it back to the music. Okay, so now you can hear it for yourself. Both of them on. Sounds dope. Now, the second con. There's a little bit of a delay. All right, now it's not enough to, you know, make a big deal about, but it's a little bit of a delay. If you put these headphones on, right now I got them both paired up. So if I put if I put one set on this ear and one set on the other ear and I play the music, you're going to be able to hear that delay. It's real short, maybe not even a full second, but you'll be able to hear it. Now, if you're playing music with somebody else, you're not going to even notice that delay, you know, because both of y'all won't be able to hear the music. Y'all both will be on your individual worlds. So not a big deal, but I just got to mention that there is a little bit of a delay, maybe about a second. Now, as far as when you connect this to an iPad or a tablet and you want to watch a movie, no delay. All right, so I like that. So that low latency, that's not a gimmick. It does work. I was watching some music videos and singing along word for word, you know, watching the mouths, no delay. So I'm definitely feeling that. Now, the build quality. Let me get the music back again. Turn this off. Here we go. All right, <laughs> that's my song right here. Build quality on these, definitely feeling these. Nice and lightweight. This is our protein leather. Okay, so now I was walking around the house doing stuff. It is kind of hot in here. I was sweating a little bit, but they feel nice. Now, this wire right here, I don't really like these wires. You know, I don't like when headphones have that little wire right there, but not a big deal. 
not a big deal, especially for this kind of build. Got the nice clicks. All of this is the protein leather. They feel nice. Now they are over the ear, so they're gonna sit right on your head. But they're so lightweight, they're not uncomfortable. I could easily see myself rocking these on the flight. Sound quality though, like I said, crystal clear. Crystal clear, I would say, if you ask me do they sound better than the Bose Quiet Comforts, I would probably say the Bose got a little bit more bass. But the thing I didn't like about the Bose Quiet Comforts, it's too much bass, like it doesn't have that natural deep rich bass. It kind of sounds like that muddy bass on the Bose Quiet Comforts. Now these, they're not bass heavy, but the bass that they do have is nice and balanced. So these are gonna be perfect for when you're watching a movie. Now for music, you know, you do what you do. You might you gotta buy your headphones for the kind of music that you like. When I was playing classical music and dance hall and disco and all that, they sounded fine. It's just when I when I take it to my future and my trap music status, I could have used some more bass. I could have definitely used some more bass. But like I said, these will be my Netflix and chill headphones when I'm watching movies in the middle of the night with my company. You know what I'm saying? Three o'clock in the morning. We can have the headphones on nice and loud and be in that nice movie environment. And headphones like these. Like I said, if you go on a trip, you'll be able to wear these on a six hour flight with no problem. Now the buttons, the buttons do work. You got your play, pause, answer and phone calls. I made a little test phone call, sounded fine. Nothing to, you know, nothing to really talk about. Sounded like a regular set of headphones on a phone call. You know, no big deal. But that play and pause button is dope. So you got the play and pause and the volume knob. Now, once you get the hang of this volume knob, you're gonna like this because you know a lot of Bluetooth headphones, you gotta be searching around for different kind of buttons. Once you get the hang of this knob, it's, it's nothing like having an actual knob to turn the volume up and down. And you notice you hear that beep. When you get to max volume, you do get a beep. And if, and if you, you can't really hear this, but let me put it by the mic. You get individual clicks. So it's not just a free spinning wheel, you get individual clicks. Keep in mind, you could drop a AAA battery in here for backup battery, and you get 25 hours on deck. Now, maximum volume, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you're probably gonna get around maybe 18 to maybe 18 to 20. I doubt if you're gonna get 25 on max volume, but still, even if you got 15, that's pretty good, and you got your AAA battery on deck for extra battery. Now, when you plug these in wired, let's talk about that real quick. When you plug them in wired, and amplified they pretty much sound the same now when you when, when you when you use amplified that means you got the wire connected and you got the headphones on they will get a little bit louder when you turn the headphones off and it's just passive mode you, you'll notice that you'll notice it gets a little bit lower but not by much so these are the kind of headphones right here that even if you don't charge these up for two three weeks and you need to listen to some music you could grab these and if you don't and say you don't you happen to not have a triple a battery you could grab these and rock out you're not going to be losing too much sound so i'm definitely feeling that part uh, you're not going to lose too much sound if you use these in passive mode but if you use them in amplified mode they do get a little bit louder and when you use them in wireless mode they sound good so on a scale of on a scale of one to ten overall I would say these all go. All right. You hear how loud these are for yourself. Now, li now listen for bleedage. Could y'all hear any bleedage? I don't have anybody in here to listen for that. So I'm putting my head is right by the mic. Y'all let me know if did y'all hear any bleedage. I really don't care about the bleedage too much when I'm in my zone. Whoever's around me, they got to get on my level. <laughs> but like I said, on a scale of one to 10, I'm definitely feeling these 250 bucks. You're really looking at 500 because you might as well get a set. This is how I'm gonna rock it. I'm gonna have it in the man cave. I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those little headphone racks, and I have these on the rack. Maybe with a little uh something like this, a little uh zero lemon, little zero lemon, not this colorful one, but a nice little zero lemon charger underneath it, and I have these charging up, maybe in the man cave or in the living room on the table. This way, when I have my company in the middle of the night, I don't want I want to go crazy. We'll have the his and hers headphones and we'll get busy. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Like I said, I am definitely feeling them. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 
100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise. Spock won the beam up. Energize.